Hi everyone, it's Laura here and today I'm really excited to be part of the Handmade Holiday Pepper Crafting Parade. We are celebrating a week of great deals on scrapbook.com and there is a giveaway too. You will find all the details on my blog and in the description of this video, but for now let's have a look at the cards I created. I made two cards for the hop as you have seen in the pictures and the main products that I used are the Big and Bold Christmas Stamps by Scrapbook.com, the Christmas Fun Card Sentiments also by Scrapbook.com and lastly these Nested Stars dies. For the base of my card I'm going to use one of the pre-cut card bases. These are also by scrapbook.com and this is some Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm going to do some ink blending on this panel using scrapbook.com premium hybrid inks in the colors Cardinal Red and Ballet Sleepers. I'm using my domed ink blenders to do the blending and I'm going for a gradient that is Lighter at the center where I'll be adding my ballet slippers and darker on the edges where I have my cardinal red. So I first added the cardinal red on the outer portion of the card background. I then started filling in the center with ballet slipper and then I went back on top of those areas with my cardinal red using a lighter hand so that the color would be a little bit fainter. And then I also decided that I wanted to darken up the edges a little bit more, so I'm going to add a very very light touch of my hybrid ink in the color black, and I'm going to add that just to the very edges of the panel. To create some accents on my card I'm going to use this pearlescent vellum by Lone Fawn, which I'm going to die cut with two of the star dies in the nested stars set. I'm using the smallest and the second smallest dies in the set and I'm first trimming down a piece of vellum that is large enough to fit my dies. And then I'm going to use some double sided adhesive sheets, these are also by scrapbook.com to basically turn these die cuts into stickers. And the reason why I am basically turning these stars into stickers rather than adding glue to them is that this way no adhesive will show through and I can stick this directly on my card front and it will all look nice and neat. So what I did is I peeled off one of the backings from the double sided adhesive sheet that I'm using, I'm adhering the vellum on top and then I can trim off what I need and run everything through my die cutting machine to obtain these two star shaped stickers. The next step was to stamp my sentiment. I used one of the greetings from the scrapbook.com big and bold Christmas sentiments and I'm doing my stamping with some embossing ink because I'll be heat embossing the sentiment with rose gold embossing powder by Lon Fawn. So you can see I coated the greeting which reads believe in the magic of Christmas with my embossing powder and I am heat setting it with my heat gun. I then used one of these pre-cut and pre-scored card bases by scrapbook.com for the base of my card. These are cut to 5.5 by 8.5 inches and scored at 4.25 inches, so they make A2 size cards. I used a very generous amount of double sided adhesive to adhere the card front to my card base because it had warped a little bit from the heat from the heat gun during the heat embossing. I did run it through my die cutting machine protecting it with some plain copy paper to flatten it out a little bit more but having this generous amount of double sided adhesive would really ensure that the card front stays flat on my card base. Off camera I also stamped and die cut the unicorn from the Lone Fawn Winter Unicorn stamp set because I felt it was perfect to go with the sentiment I have on my card. I adhered the pearlescent vellum stars to the top portion of my card front and then I popped up my unicorn on some foam squares for some extra interest. I did have to add a little bit of glitter and for that I used crystal stickles and that finished off my first card. 
For my second card, I used a landscape orientation and I also changed my color palette. I started by ink blending a pre-cut card front using my scrapbook.com premium hybrid ink in the color midnight blue, again using my domed ink blenders. I am starting from the edges of the panel and I'm working my way towards the center because again I want to go for a gradient effect with the center area being a little bit lighter. I coated the entire panel and then to darken up the edges I went in again with some hybrid black ink also by scrapbook.com again just basically adding it to the outer portion of that panel. Like I did with the previous card, I'm going to create a star-shaped sticker out of the Lawn Fawn Pearlescent Vellum. I'm using again these double-sided sheets and the die that I'm using is a little bit larger this time. I did some heat embossing of my sentiment, again using Lawn Fawn Rose Gold Embossing Ink, but this time the sentiment is made of two parts. One reads Merry Christmas and the stamp comes from the Big and Bold Christmas Sentiments, and the second part comes from the Christmas Fun Card Sentiments and reads You know you're getting old when Santa starts to look attractive. The idea for this card is that I will have the pearlescent vellum star overlapping the sentiment and because of that I'm going to have to emboss the rest of the sentiment on the star. I removed the smaller sentiment because I will not need that. I'm going to use some heavy doodle memo tape to protect my card base and then after I have positioned the star correctly, I can go ahead and stamp the sentiment again with embossing ink on top of the star, coat it with the same Lawn Fawn Rose Gold Embossing Powder and heat set the powder with my heat gun. You want to make sure that your heat gun is nice and hot at this stage because you want to apply heat to your vellum for as short a time as possible. And then the next step is to adhere the star so that the sentiment is continuous on the card front. I used again one of my pre-cut and pre-scored white card bases and then I decorated my card front with some images from the Lawn Fawn Happy Ho Ho Holiday stamp set which were just the perfect complement to that greeting. I popped my Santa up on some foam squares and that finished off my second card for today. Don't forget that these cards are part of a hop and that there is a great giveaway. All the details will be in the description box down below as well as on my blog and there you will also find a list of all the products that were used for today's cards. If you did enjoy this video, you can give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe for more card making and paper crafting inspiration. Thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.